Well, Tyler, we thought this whole migration to Florida would have slowed by now. We're a year into the pandemic, but higher taxes, safety concerns, empty office buildings in New York raising fears about an increased flight from New York. BlackRock's Larry Fink saying this morning on CNBC that companies like his, they have choices and so do the workers. I truly believe this is going to lead to incremental movement of people and businesses away from the city. We've already witnessed in 2020, New York has been the largest um, outflow of population of any state. Now, numbers this morning showing that outflow, at least into Florida, just increasing and could actually now become structural. Let's look at Palm Beach. The average home price there topping nine and a half million dollars. Sales increasing nearly 50 percent despite those high prices in the first quarter. There is now less than a two month supply of houses for sale in Palm Beach. That is a record low. We've got Miami Beach average sale prices there up 72 percent with condos in South Beach more than doubling in price in the quarter. You got prices up double digits in Boca, Wellington, Bal Harbor, Delray, all across southern Florida. Brokers say demand is quickly outstripping supply, even with wealthy buyers. And those are people, a lot of them moving from higher tax states. And one of those emigres, Guggenheim, Scott Minard, confirming to CNBC that he is taking his talents and his taxes from California to Miami. Tell her we're going to have Jeff Green, the billionaire investor, on tomorrow on Power Lunch. He's actually looking at what may be a correction in Florida. So we'll talk to him about that call and what he's seeing with this whole migration to the Sunshine State. You know, we spent, my wife and I spent some time in Naples, Florida, uh, over the winter in January. And, and it's not just the East Coast. It's obviously on the West Coast as well. Naples is extraordinarily affluent. Um, and uh, there is a lot of supply coming online. There, there's a lot of stuff being built. Let me just point out one thing. If the ma and we kind of got bitten by the bug. If the Mathesons buy, okay, that will be the top tick in the market. I promise you. The market will peak <laughs> within, within, within four weeks, not four months, of the Mathesons purchasing. But well, there is you, a lot of supply when you coming open on. The Nap Go ahead. And when you open the Naples Bureau, Tyler, sign me up. Uh, that sounds like a, a great gig. Uh, no, you're right. There is some supply coming online. Um, but again, the, the demand is just outstripping it in all these communities. And, and can they keep up? We're going to see in the second quarter. And that conversation with Jeff tomorrow will be interesting because he's got projects all over southern Florida. So he's looking at that pipeline. Another thing you wonder about, I mean, obviously, there is the, the no tax deal in Florida is a big appeal there. But as more and more people come in, they're going to find, I think, some infrastructure requirements that are going to be expensive to meet, whether it's new schools or whether it's new roads or new garages, et cetera. Yeah, one word, Tyler, traffic. It's not yep. fun in Florida right now, and that's going to be an issue. Right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.